hello, Cedric. Hello. Nice to see you again at a Groovy conference. Um, you, you've just uh, been talking here in uh, an open discussion about uh, the future of Groovy. I don't know what are your I don't know your ideas, your perceptions about it. So to me, there are two key aspects of the future of Groovy. The first one is uh, probably the most important to me. It's the ID support. Um, because you know that Groovy uh, was uh, developed by Pivotal for some years now and they dropped support for the Groovy Eclipse uh, plugin and I think it's still a very important aspect of the future of Groovy being able to maintain that plugin at least so um, yeah the community somehow has to find a way to do it and uh, I would say that the second most important aspect of the future of Groovy is supporting Java 9 in some way. So there are two sides of that. The, the first one would be uh, just running on Java 9. And the second one is being itself a first class citizen of the Java 9 Jigsaw module system. I have to ask you this one. Uh, but. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell me uh, which are the best things that new Gradle model has. Yeah, sure. So um, the Gradle new soft model, that's what we call it, is actually already existing in Gradle for several years now. Uh, people that use Android typically use it without knowing. Uh, those who use Gradle with native builds like C++ or uh, yeah, I don't know the, the, the name of the other compilers that we support, but they're already using the software model of Gradle, and that's something that is very interesting in the future. So I gave a, a talk this morning about that and uh, the application in the Java world, and typically this is about improving the way you describe your application and let the build tool uh, resolve the problems of building it. So instead of saying that you have sources, you will say, I'm building a Java application, I'm building a, a Java library, I'm building a Gradle plugin, a Spring Boot application, and the build tool will set up everything appropriately. Uh, so typically to have dependency management that is uh, uh, specific to each variant of the application. So that's that's all better modeling of what is an application in general. Okay, uh, so well, thank you for sharing this time with us okay. and enjoy the conference. Thank you.